Good morning, lovelies. Here's your Friday, August 30th, pick three. It uh, worked out that each deck got two cards, so they just two flew out with each one. So the first pile, or first two cards, have a hot air balloon. The second pile has, it looks like a bird, a dove. Hang on, I think it's a dove. Yeah, a dove. Peace, peace, a dove. And then we have Pegasus. And Pegasus was uh, Greek mythology uh, and was um, the horse that I believe every time he touched down, he was believed to spout water. So let's see. Pile or pile one. You've got fourth chakra, heart, uh, heart, and all tied up. Okay. So, you've got the hot air balloon, which could signify romance. Somebody here is upset about a relationship. Fourth chakra is your heart space. So, somebody is feeling uncertain about how they feel about something. I'm going to lean in on the relationship piece because of the hot air balloon, which can often be portrayed as something romantic right so that'll be one scenario for some people that you might have a lot of confusing feelings regarding somebody that you might be currently dating or in a relationship with and uh i think the hot air balloon is also a representation to detach from the emotions this is my advice i've found over the years if you want to hear it Sometimes stepping away for a little bit is healthy because, well, not sometimes, always gives you a different perspective. It's like when you do go on a holiday and you put everything that you're doing in your daily life aside, it allows for things to come in and thoughts to come in and you get a different perspective. And then you go back to talking to that person and you recognize and see things differently. So I would suggest the hot air balloon also could very well mean uh, like we talked about with the owl yesterday, just detaching. Um, so I wish you a lot of luck, but I would say here, um, detach a little bit, a step away a little bit, even if it's a marriage, try to just take some space and get some headspace out on your own. Go for walks, do some things to um, give yourself some time to really get out of the day-to-day -day grind and really figure out what your heart, hence the fourth chakra, what your heart is really saying. Because this is a common, common problem when we have our heart and our head totally confusing us. One and the other are just opposing each other. So I would say get out in nature, detach a little bit, step away and really get out of your head and just really sit in your body and ask your angels, to show you what is your heart leading you to say, even if it's bad news, what is your heart and soul telling you? That's the truth of the matter. Okay, pile two or deck card two. We've got the peace card and we've got fifth chakra, which is speaking your truth in reverse so, and envy. Okay, so somebody here or it's in reverse. So... I don't know what this reversal of envy is, but you're being watched over with angels of peace and love. And you're being asked to whatever it is that you've got hidden envy for, or whatever it is that you're feeling maybe envy towards, uh, or you don't envy people who speak their truth. I'm not sure. This is a lot of mixed messages in this one coming out. Upright, this means that you're able to communicate how you feel very effectively in your heart, in your fifth chakra, right? It's right there. See the little right there in his throat. So it's upright means you're very clear in how you communicate. You communicate very effectively. You don't harm people when you speak. You know, it's, it's flowing and able to easily express yourself. It's in reverse. So you're not at this point able to express yourself vocally on how you feel about things because I think you're too upset or angry or in denial about something because 
envy can be positive, right? It can be, hey, I really admire this creator, this person, this artist, this actress. I really admire them. But when we turn it into the negative, it becomes more of I'm very angry about something. I'm angry about what something somebody said. I'm angry about my inability to speak. Um, I'm really angry that I can't speak my truth. I don't know my truth, but you're not. You feel that your inability to speak is creating anger around you. Now, whether this is somebody that is speaking envious things or not so nice things towards you and you want to be able to retaliate and speak your truth, but you can't, and it's creating a lot of pent up energy and I would suggest write. I think you need to start writing to find some peace. You need to find an outlet for this in a healthy way. So I would encourage you to write. Write everything you feel that you can't say in for whatever reason you feel like you can't say to this person or around this event or whatever is going on. Whatever blockage you feel, write. Just write and then you can burn it or throw it out and send it to the ethers, but write whatever you, your heart's content, get it out, get it out on paper. You need to do a lot of chakra clearing around the throat as well, and really um, just listen to chakra clearing videos on YouTube and just really clear your, your throat chakra and um, find peace at all costs, please. Stay grounded. But I would really encourage you to write how you feel and then burn it. Write how you feel and burn it. The temple path and door to abundance and healing and happiness. Pegasus uh, is here. And again, I think he's the Greek horse that I think he, every time he lands, there's some sort of a miraculous. So there's something here that you're doing. And this is going to be... This is the right path. This is your guided true north. You are guided to keep going. Pegasus is flying through the sky. You are on the right path, which is divinely inspired, directed. If you're thinking about a new path, you are being asked to go forward like Pegasus through the air and follow your guidance towards this path, whatever one you're contemplating. Now, right now, it may not be abundant, but that is a delayed version. Again, cards are going to be opposites. This is not a delayed version. Now, this is means abundance is coming immediately. So this just means whatever path you're starting on is the beginning of your journey, but you're asked to trust this and go forward with confidence because it will lead eventually, this is a new beginning for you, it will lead to not only a personal healing and happiness, okay? Y'all, I hope this was helpful for the, for the cards of the day. We will see you 4 p.m. live for the personal picks. Love and light, cheers. Oh yes, today, did I say the day? It's Friday, August 30th.